Exactly. So the daily prayers we start off with in this class, they're called daily prayers for a reason. And not weekly prayers where you come once a week and you say it. Make sense? Something that's daily is you do every day. Do we get that? So what should be done is our daily prayers. Right? What else should be done? Ask for Krishna, Bhagavad Gita. One of the first things I've taught you. Do we all like is this this is definitely Kali Yuga, right? Very bad memory. Very, very bad memory. Not you, somebody else. What should we be doing? What kind of service? Devotional. Exactly, devotional service towards God. And you don't have to do anything towards God particularly, you just do it to humans. You do it to your family, friends, animals, dogs, or if you consider that to be a family too, whatever. But just do service and think of them as God. Right? Are you pointing at her as a dog? <laughs> no, I don't know. She, I said dog and she's pointing at you, so. I was patting your back. Okay. Uh, of course, of course. <laughs> so, what that should be done? What else should be done? Anything else that I'm missing here? Prayer, service. Where should you be praying? Where else should you be praying? Temple. Where else should you be praying? In school. So your teacher asks you a question and you just stand up and say, Deepak Is that is that what you say? Come on, here. But what do you mean? I know what you're trying to say. How are you praying at school? Okay, now that's just being that's just be prayers. God make me pass. I know I I, st I stayed up last night watching, you know, all these Tamil serials on uh, Sun TV and I'm, I'm really not prepared, so please help me know. Yeah, but that's good. That's a good thing. Okay, where else are we praying in school? Yes, basically anytime you get a chance, make sure you, you say a quick prayer, right? Before every class you take or uh, before you eat in school and before we eat in general, we say a prayer. Anything else you can be saying a prayer with? Basically, there's no time where you cannot say a prayer. Okay? Is that clear? Yes? Okay, yeah, 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 I know, I know, okay. But otherwise, when you're eating, walking, driving, or getting getting a ride from, wearing your shoes, everything, you can always be thinking of God, and that's a prayer, right? Now, tell me what we shouldn't be doing. This is stuff we just reviewed. Yes? Bullying. Okay, yes. We shouldn't be bullying. I'm surprised this bullying topic always comes up. What else shouldn't we be doing? Yes? We shouldn't be lying, okay? Yes? Yes, we shouldn't be disrespecting not just our parents but anyone. Why shouldn't we be disrespecting our parents? Exactly, so that's being yes. Why else should you be not disrespecting your parents? Should you not be disrespecting your parents? Exactly. Your parents are your first God. In, in a line of God, you say, Mata, Pita, Guru, Devam, right? So your mom and dad are your first gods. Yes, but I said mom and dad. I didn't say dad and mom. So mom and dad, make sure that you, especially on a day like today, which is, what day is today, guys? What did you, anybody do anything special to for Mother's Day? What you do? Both of you. I can't hear you. If I can't hear you and I'm standing two feet away, there's no way anybody else is hearing you. Talk loud, talk loud, talk loud. Well, you just had a drink. Okay, a notebook folder for your mom. Okay, what else did we do? Yes. Oh, very good. Now, let, let me rephrase this question. Who didn't do anything for Mother's Day? These three? I did. Why are you pointing at them? Did you do it? Okay. Who didn't do anything? <laughs> Anything special? Okay. So, uh, other than saying waking up and saying, Mom, where's my breakfast? Don't eat. Don't eat. <laughs> other than that. Physical strength. Don't eat. Physical strength. 
No? You pushed her? Oh, you wish her a happy mother's day. That's it? Not even a hug? Okay. Pardon? Of course I do this something. I got her a little, uh, a little present. What is it? No, it's actually very close though. It's, it's, it's a kitchen prayer. So it's, it's a reminder to my mom saying, please make sure, she already does it, but just a reminder saying, uh, it says something along the line of, Lord, please bless the meals we have and thank you for every meal we have. A very small thing just you put up in your kitchen. Pardon? We got it together. Yes. So that's what we did. I did for Mother's Day. So what should you be doing? Okay, we, we got, we kind of got distracted, but that's good. It was on topic. Yes. Ignoring people? Yeah, sometimes you should ignore people. And if somebody's bullying you, you should. But when he's bothering you, yeah, you should ignore him. He's not ignoring But he's bothering someone in the class. Well, not him. I'm just saying at him as an example, but not him. Yes. You shouldn't be jealous. Are we getting the point here? What we shouldn't be doing, what Krishna's saying? Yeah. From a religious standpoint, what shouldn't we be doing? Eating meat. Okay, we shouldn't be eating meat. What else shouldn't we be eating? Yes. Fast food, junk food. All of that. Okay, that's my interpretation of it. Uh, what shouldn't we be drinking? Coke. Yes, soft drinks, uh, alcohol. Right? What? Take yeah, McDonald's just soft drinks, so all of that. And blood, yes, don't be drinking blood. <laughs> Any questions so far? Like bad drugs. Okay, and what's key here is the ignorance. Because without with ignorance, we don't know. We can't tell what's good or bad. So again, if you have that ignorance, and then from last slide, then this slide is also being affected. Are we good? Shh. Okay, let's go back. What else, what's, what's being, what's the next thing that's going to, uh, uh, found, what's the next thing that's found in someone's dead demonic, as per the slide here? So we talked about they don't know what good and bad is. Yes? Let's go one at a time. Cleanliness, right? Let's go with cleanliness. We already talked about cleanliness. What is cleanliness, guys? Who doesn't know, who still doesn't know what cleanliness is? Okay. We talked about physical cleanliness, taking baths. What other type of cleanliness is there? Clean your room. Clean your room. That's also physical cleanliness. And I'll, I, I promise you, I will eventually, sooner or later, clean my room. Clean the car? Clean the car? Yes, a clean thought. What's a clean thought? Thinking of good things. Give me an example. I want to be a millionaire. Is that a clean thought? No. Why not? Why not? Why not? That's a good thought. That's a really nice. Yes. Okay, not to be greedy. Very good. Yes. A pure heart. What? What is a pure heart? You open your heart and it looks white inside. Just me. Pardon? What's a pure heart? Thinking positively, yes. How can we make our thoughts clean? Let me phrase it like that. How sh what should we be thinking about to make sure our thoughts are clean? Someone new, someone new, someone new, someone new, someone new. Uh, who should I pick on? Can I pick on you? So how, what can we do to make our thoughts clean? Thank you. <laughs> if I want to make my body clean, I take a shower every other day. Krishika. Right? So my body's clean every other day. Krishika. How can we make my thoughts clean? Krishika. Taking a good stuff. What kind of good stuff are we talking about? Good stuff can be different for different people. What's good to me can be bad to you. Should I let somebody else take a stab at it? Yes. What? Pardon? Yes. But where should we refocus our thoughts on to make sure we're cleaning it? He's saying positive thoughts. Who should we be thinking about 
to make sure our thoughts are clean. God. God. I would say myself, but yeah, me, yeah, like myself, God, God. God. It's all the same, guys, eventually. Okay, right? So, clean thoughts. No, pardon? Go and lean against the wall. Maybe, not so much. I would say God. Let's start thinking about God. When we say God, yes, that's in here, right? In earth, because they give you this body. So they're your first God. But when you want a spiritual growth, or religious growth, then you look at God, right? Any questions? So yes, we start, we set positive thoughts and thoughts on God. How can we keep our thoughts clean? Again, just ask God, pray, think about God. That's cleaning, yes. Helping others, right? Pardon? Exactly, devotional service. Exactly, doing everything with thinking about God, uh, thinking about God. That doesn't mean you're not doing anything and sitting there and praying to God. You do whatever you want to do and you're thinking about God in the meantime. Clean words, guys. Let's talk about how we can keep our words clean. Pardon? Ma manners. Okay, elaborate this. Yes, okay. On a, yes, on a worldly level, yes. We, we say thank you, good manners. No. Don't say bad words. Relax. Easy, 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 easy. Don't say bad words. That's a very obvious one. Obvious one. Right? We keep our words clean. We say good stuff. No bad words. Is something here? Saying nice words. What else can we say? Or how else can we make our words clean? What should we be saying to make sure we have clean words? Or when I say clean words, we're saying positive things. Very similar to having positive thoughts, guys. What should we be saying now to have clean word, clean thoughts, or clean words, clean speech? Yes? Manners, he's already said that. Yes? Pardon? Prayers, we should be saying our prayers, therefore cleaning our speech, or cleaning our uh, the words we say. Yes? Exactly. That's very good. Think before we say something. And saying our prayers. I'm going to wrap it up right now. I'm going to go ahead with the yoga. And like I said, every class, who are, who is all, who are we thanking for learning this knowledge? Krishna. God, Krishna, whatever you want to call it. We thank God for all this knowledge. And? And? And, of course. <laughs> and our... Um, please. Uh, for Dr. Uh, Dr. Lambo Anka for, for providing the opportunity for us to learn. So can we all just you know clap and say thank you?